I'm currently live in Port Clinton this morning, right here on East 5th Street. This is right across the street from Fulton Street, which is where the Dillies live right now. There has been a heavy police presence all throughout the night at this vacant home right behind me. Take a look. This is again on East 5th Street. Right now, it doesn't look too busy. There's only one police car parked here in the driveway. But earlier into the morning and as well as last night, there was heavy police presence. Again, we still not we still have not confirmed why police were at this specific house. However, a coat was hanging inside of this home that looked very similar to the one Harley Dilly was wearing in a photo police had released. Again, we still cannot confirm if that is Harley Dilly's coat. Port Clinton police did not confirm the reason as to why they were here. However, they did confirm that the Ohio Bureau of Criminal Investigation was here on scene. Now the police chief and fire officials left roughly around three this morning. However, around one this morning, we saw investigators cutting a wall open from inside of this vacant home you're looking at right now. Then just about an hour later, we saw what appeared to be a coroner's van backing up to a side door of this home. The back door of the van was opened, yet police cars and an ambulance pulled up, which then blocked the view of that white van for us to see. Now a few minutes later, that white van pulled away and a BCI unit had also left. Left. So at this point, 14 year old Harley Dilly is still considered missing. So police haven't given us an update yet. However, there will be a press conference at noon with the latest updates. And again, this is all happening along the 500 block of Fulton Street as well as East 5th Street here in Port Clinton. Again, you're taking a live look at the vacant house that police have been in and out of throughout the night. Heavy police presence here. A lot of roads blocked off while they searched that area. Harley Dilly has been missing since December 20th, so that's 20 five days and police say he was last seen on Friday morning around six on his way to school and again we still do not know why police were here at this home searching it a uh, big speculation here everyone is wondering about that jacket and again we have not confirmed that that is Harley Dilly's jacket however it does look very similar I would assume that police did take that jacket in for evidence once they left the scene and you can even see right here it's relatively quiet and again right across the street you can see the Dilly's residence that porch is still lit up in bright pink which was Harley Dilly's favorite color so as of now regarding the Port Clinton teen Harley Dilly who has been missing I just received word from the Ohio Attorney General office that Harley Dilly is no longer on the missing children's website. Harley Dilly has been recovered at this point. Again, this is via the Ohio Attorney General's office. They sent this email about, out just about 10 to 15 minutes ago. So we still have not heard from Port Clinton police this morning, but he is no longer on the missing children's website. They did say that he has been recovered. So right now, take a look behind me at this, uh, this vacant house right here. This is right across the street, again, from the Dilly residence. And as you can see, not much is going on right now. However, I just watched a fire rescue truck pull up here to this neighborhood. There's also a cop car or a police car parked here in this driveway guarding this area. But again, there was heavy police presence all throughout the night here at this vacant house. Roughly around one o'clock this morning, we saw investigators cutting a wall open from inside of this vacant home you're looking at. Then just about an hour later, we saw what appeared to be a coroner's van backing up to a side door. Now the back door of that van was open, but police cars and an ambulance pulled up, which ultimately blocked our view of that white van. And a few minutes later, that white van pulled away and a BCI unit also left. And again, that BCI unit was here this morning. That is something that Port Clinton police were able to confirm for us, the Ohio Bureau of criminal investigation was here on scene. But again, right now it's still relatively quiet aside from that fire rescue truck that just pulled up. That is this empty house, this house literally right across the street from Harley Dilly's. If you look down there, the house with the uh, Christmas ribbons wrapped around the posts, that's Harley's house. There have also been people coming and going from that home this morning as they were last night. Police chief was out here on the scene, not sharing any information uh, with the media, but uh, we do know that this house they were searching. The homeowners live out of town, according to neighbors, have been for about the past two years. Uh, police with Port Clinton, BCI, they were in this house most of the night from dinner time till about 3 a.m. Earlier in the evening, dispatchers had told us that Harley Dilly had not been found, that he was still considered missing. But then we saw a couple of officers come out to their vehicles, get sledgehammers, go back inside the house. Also saw an ambulance pull up, which blocked the view of the cameras as they carried something out of the home. Police chief left without any comment, but we are now hearing that his body has been re 
recovered. The 14 year old last seen leaving his home on the morning of December 20th. Didn't show up to school, had not been seen or heard from since. Uh, FBI, U.S. Marshals got involved over the last three and a half weeks. So many people were out looking for him this weekend, and dozens of neighbors were out on the street last night just watching and. As for what happened, how this little boy died, we just don't know those details at this point. The police chief has scheduled a news conference for noon today. We'll, of course, bring that to you live, and that's where we expect to get more information. Don't know if he had been hiding out in this house, if they believe someone had abducted him. We just don't have any of those details at this point. But he'd been missing for three and a half weeks, his family completely distraught, and then getting that news. As I said, an ambulance over here blocking our view as they carried something out, and then over at the house, presumably treating someone who was distraught at the news. We'll uh, share as much information as we can as soon as we get it. All right, everybody, uh, we're still here in Port Clinton this morning. We've had a crew on scene here since uh, yesterday evening about dinner time when we got word that there was a large police presence in the neighborhood where Harley Dilly disappeared. Fox 8 I team has been able to confirm this morning that his body has been recovered. The details, any further than that, we just don't know. The police chief, who has been very tight lipped, has scheduled a news conference for noon today where we expect to get a lot more information. I just checked in at police headquarters and there's no one there who can provide any further information until we get to that news conference. But this house behind me is actually an empty house. The homeowners uh, haven't been here in about two years, so it's sits empty. This is where police converged upon last night. Uh, just swarms of them in and out of the house. Uh, lights on in there. They eventually put up uh, coverings, uh, a mattress, uh, plywood over the windows so the cameras couldn't see what they were doing inside of this house. But they were there for many, many hours until about 3 o'clock this morning. There's a police car that still sits in the driveway behind the house, obviously protecting whatever kind of scene this is. And then if we pan a little bit left uh, past these live trucks from Toledo, the house with the uh, Christmas wrap around the poles, that's Harley Dilly's house. That's where he left from on December 20th, never to be seen or heard from again. I have seen uh, people coming and going from that home as you can imagine, comforting one another. But back to this house over here, sitting vacant, not sure what led police to this location, why they suddenly looked here. We have heard that, you know, understandably, they were looking around the neighborhood. They had police dogs out in the neighborhood. Presumably, they were at least uh, on the property. If, um, whether they went inside early on in this investigation, we just don't know. All information we're waiting to get at noon today in that news conference with Port Clinton police. But 14-year-old Harley Dilly, I team has confirmed that his body has been recovered. How long he was dead, we don't know. How he might have died, we just don't know. How he wound up inside this vacant house, again, all of these things we do not know, but an absolute heartbreak for this family, this boy who, uh, you know, we saw so many videos of him that he posted. He had such a large social media presence for him to suddenly vanish, not only from his home, but from that as well, was quite a shock. It indicated right away that something was very, very wrong. So many people in this community have stepped up to look for him. You saw swarms of them out, 150 people from all over Ohio uh, coming into town into Port Clinton, just feeling compelled to be a part of this and try and help this family get some answers about where Harley was. Obviously, everyone held out hope that he was going to be returned home safely. Last night into the early morning hours, there were just people out here holding hands, saying prayers, lighting candles, just really wishing for the best. But the worst news has come this morning. Fox 8 I team has confirmed that Harley Dilly, that 14-year-old boy who's been missing from Port Clinton since before Christmas, was found dead. Updates again, uh, as much as we can give you that information, we'll keep passing it along. But uh, prayers.